Hey guys, I want to talk about uh, some new statements and research that came out with regards to uh, COVID-19. A study came out recently uh, that showed they, they took somebody who was asymptomatic from COVID, meaning they didn't have symptoms, uh, and looked at all 455 people that they had had contact with during when they were infected and whether or not those people then got infected. And what they found was nobody actually got infected. So this suggests, which is great news, uh, suggests that it may not be very transmittable if you're asymptomatic, which might make a little bit of sense because you're not sneezing, you're not coughing, you're not projecting those droplets out into the air, that sort of thing. And there was another study that came out that showed that the masks don't appear to be super effective for preventing the transmission of COVID. Um, and the WHO kind of walked back a statement on that. This has led a lot of people to get really angry online and say, you know, why did we do these lockdowns or, or why did we wear masks or why did we do this? And it's made people very kind of distrustful of the experts. I think what you guys have to realize is part of being a scientist is being wrong sometimes. When we were dealing with this in March and April, we didn't know that much. We didn't have this information. And so when you make recommendations for the general public, uh, I have a little bit of sympathy for the people in the CDC and the WHO because they are making recommendations for everyone based off of basically guesswork. They have very limited information. And so with that limited information, would it be more wise to then say, um, you know what? We don't think asymptomatic people can get you sick. So, um, you know, don't worry about it. Is it wise to say, yeah, masks don't do anything. Uh, you know, just go around, do whatever. Um, you know, that sort of thing. It makes sense to err on the side of caution. I really want to caution you guys against throwing out the baby with the bathwater. Yes, scientists are wrong sometimes. That doesn't make scientists stupid. It doesn't make the CDC stupid. It doesn't make the WHO stupid. Um, it just means that sometimes we get it wrong. But usually that's because they're erring on the side of caution. If you want to criticize them for being wrong, that's fine. Scientists are not politicians. The difference between science and politics is that when scientists get new information, we change our minds. When politicians get new information, they just double down on their talking points. I realize a lot of people are very on edge, very angry. You didn't get lied to. They made a mistake based on the best evidence they had at the time, which was very minimal. The great news is it seems like for if you're asymptomatic, it doesn't seem to be transmittable. That's great. That means that it probably is less likely it, so long as people who are sick are staying home and staying away from others, it's less likely that this is going to continue to spread. So that's great news. But please don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Scientists are wrong sometimes. Uh, I've been wrong quite a few times. Had to say it. It sucks, but it's part of being a scientist. If you don't have all the information available, all you can do is your best guess. That's called a hypothesis. And sometimes our hypothesis are wrong. If we have possibly millions of lives that hang in the balance and that are at stake, I know that I would err on the side of caution. And I'm sure that's probably what the CDC and who we're doing as well. All right, guys, if you like the video, like the video, get into the comments. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who have crazy things to say in the comments. The comment section's out of control. Make sure you check it out. And that's all I got for you this week. Have a great week, guys. Catch you next week.